feels like one of the hardest parts about being a business owner is soliciting those positive reviews because uh, business owners kind of feel like that um, people are going to provide negative ones more so than positive ones. So what's, what's kind of your experience with that to get businesses to um, feel more comfortable about asking for reviews and being more confident that they're going to be positive versus the negative side? We'll have a good solution for that. We have a software system called the Reputation Builder. Yep. And so the way it works is um, after a customer, you, you know, you close a deal with a customer, you just put their name and email into the system, and then they get an email that says, you know, thanks for doing business with us today. We hope you had a great experience. How likely would you be to recommend us to a friend? And then there's a rating right in the email between one and 10. Mm -hmm. If they rate a seven or higher, they then get sent to a page that says, oh, thank you very much. We're glad, uh, you know, we did a good job. We'd really appreciate your review online. And it has links to the, the top review sites for that particular industry. If they rate a six or lower, it funnels them to just a feedback form within the system that says, uh, you know, we're, we're always looking uh, for ways we can improve. Please tell us how we could have done better. So what you've done here is the system is that you're funneling the happy people to the review sites and anyone that didn't have a good experience, you're kind of catching them before they go online and leave a negative review. You're, you're, you're collecting that feedback internally. Once they've gone to the trouble of giving you that information, they, they know that you care about it, you want to hear their feedback, then they generally won't go and leave it online. So it's pretty handy that way. I've always thought one of the best solutions for getting positive reviews is to not suck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Um, I mean, be yeah, don't give it to the person who's angry. Yeah. You you know, know, unless we're talking about that other... <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Um, <laughs> but I mean, I think, and I think that's what causes a lot of the quote-unquote lack of confidence issues is that there are companies, plenty of companies out there that aren't confident in the fact that they actually provided a good level of service for their customers sure. so they do get nervous or they have a couple of bad reviews so they're they're yeah. very concerned about yeah, the fact I, I think that a lot they don't have it are scared of what's sarah what's the uh the, Col the columbus marshmallow is it 20 sweet or whatever? 240, sweet. 240 sweet i don't know if you heard about them darren uh they had they were on some show on C was cnbc or yes uh, um profit yeah the, the profit yeah and they they, their owners didn't come across very well on, on the TV show, and they just got hammered with reviews and Yelp and Facebook and their Google Plus page with negative one-star reviews. And I think that kind of scares people. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Sure. Yeah, well, there's also the, the case of uh, the dentist in Mi Minnesota who shot the lion, right? Oh, oh yep. Yeah. He did do that. <laughs> so that guy got like a million negative reviews. As well. Yeah. Just is there, those is there things. a way to like – not? Obviously, yeah, don't I don't go, think you don't can come shoot, back. Don't I don't think you can come back from that one. Yeah, but I mean, oh, he did. I guarantee you that there's enough hunters that <laughs> he has an exclusive clientele now. Uh, That's probably true. Hunters. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, it's it, worth it's, saying that the vast majority of reviews online are positive reviews, mm -hmm. and so if you ask every customer, your positive reviews were uh, well far outweigh your negative reviews. And WhiteSpark has seen this. We started asking for reviews about a year ago. We now have 103 reviews from our our different services, wow. and. Uh, you know, we only have two negative ones on the whole list. There are, the rest of them are almost all five star. And so if you just ask, you're going to get mostly positive reviews. Right. And don't worry about a handful of negative ones. In fact, a couple of negative ones are nice to get because right. you get a chance to respond and show the world that you care about your your customers and you want to try and deal with any, any situations that don't go perfectly. People don't expect businesses to be perfect. And so when you see a little bit of that, it actually shows the yeah. the realness of the business. Yeah, provides some legitimacy to the fact that not everything goes exactly the right way every single time. 